Hello dear friends, in this video I shall take up the important uh, topic of checking whether a given number is prime or composite. Up to 100, it's quite easy and uh, uh, many of the students face difficulty when the number exceeds 100. So I'm going to take some examples and uh, tell you the method first and then we can practice using some large numbers up to say 1000. Yes, up to 1000 any number you can check whether it is prime or composite using this amazing method which I am going to tell you in this uh, video. Okay, let's see first of all a number, I will take a two digit number first so that we are uh, well acquainted with the method first after that we can get on with the larger numbers. Suppose we have 83, now I want to check whether 83 is prime or not. We all know that 83 is prime but how to test whether this is prime. Now, my intention is to tell you the method first. So, I will write all the steps here. So, the first step is to find out a number which is a perfect square and which is just more than this number 83. So, 9 into 9 is 81. It is less than 83. So, you need to take 10 into 10, 100. So, I have found out a number whose square exceeds 83, just exceeds 83. Now, just consider the number 10 and take all primes below 10. So, I need to write all primes below 10. So, the primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, only 4 primes. And now we need to test whether this number 83 is divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 5 or divisible by 7. If 83 is divisible by any one, even any one of these four, then it is not prime. And if it is not divisible by any of them, then it is prime. So see, it is an odd number. So it is not divisible by 2. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 is not divisible by 3. So number is also not divisible by 3. 5 the number is ending with 3, so no number ending with 3 can be divisible by 5, so this is also gone. Divisibility by 7, 7 1 the 7 and 13 left, which is not divisible, so 7 also ruled out. That means 83 is prime. Now this is the method. Now we need to implement this method for some larger numbers. So I will take some of the larger numbers now and let us see whether we can find out whether a given number is prime or not. Now, I am taking the example of uh, say uh, a larger number like uh, 131, okay. Now, we need a square number which is just more than 131. So, if you know 11 square is 121 and 12 square is 144. So, 12 square exceeds 131. So, we need to take all primes below 12. So, all primes below 12, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Now, just check whether this number 131 is divisible by any one of them or not. It is an odd number. So, 2 ruled out. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 1, 5. 5 is not divisible by 3. So, this also ruled out. 5, obviously it is not divisible by 5 because the number is not ending with 0 or 5. 7, 7 1 the 7. So, 61 not divisible again. 11, 11 ones are 11 and 21 not divisible again. That means 131 is prime. Likewise, you can go on and on, take some more examples and find out whether a number is prime or not. Let us take the example of a number now which is not prime. Suppose we have the example of Okay, let me uh, consider a number which is uh, divisible by a particular number and we will try and find out whether it is a prime number or not. So, let us take 453, large number and I need to check whether this is divisible uh, by any number or not. So, this is see 20 square is 400, so 21 square is 441, 22 square is 484. So, I need to take numbers below 22, prime numbers below 22, which are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 
that's it number is not divisible by 2 obviously it's an odd number 4 plus 5 9 3 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 so we have a number which exactly divides 453 that means 453 is not prime likewise you can go on and on and check numbers for divisibility but as you progress through the method as you increase this number obviously the complexity also increases so i'll consider one more number and after that we can practice it ourselves okay let's have the example of 627 now see uh, 25 square is 625 so 26 square this is what i require now list down all primes below 26 these are these numbers okay now let's let's uh, check the divisibility by 2 obviously this is a odd number so 2 ruled out 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 7 15 so this is divisible by 3 again Therefore, 627 is not prime. So, a very very useful method for junior students who are, you know, gearing up for all these type, uh, types of topics at competitive level. And uh, obviously, uh, in competitions, all these methods find wide applicability. So, friends, if you like this video of uh, checking whether a number is prime or not, do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more useful videos.